Round start steals Leviathan, but I guess Leviathan should happen on my side first, right? Because I'm the active player. So I still get the three damage. Yeah, and then stun, 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 and then steal Leviathan. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Plank, our first of two viewer submitted donation decks. We're we'll playing them over in ranked two different Swain decks. We got a Swain Gangplank, that's Swain Plank, and we'll have Swain LeBlanc after this. So yeah, this is going to be just another Noxus Bilgewater deck. As you all know, I played that Twisted Fate Gangplank deck a whole lot. This deck is pretty similar, but um, the person that made it put in Swain instead of Gangplank. We got some cool monster harpoons. So, like, with having both Swain and Gangplank, you get the two boats. You, you get two different ships. You get two. So we're gonna have two Dreadways, two Leviathans. Um, which, if you if we can get both the Dreadway and Leviathan and play at the same time, that's gonna be pretty crazy, right? Because then it'll do six damage to the Nexus round start. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, then we'll just you know have like our spray fins to draw some spells. We'll have Death Hand, Make It Rain, Ravenous Flock, all those dealing damage to level up Swain. Um, but then also we'll have like Krusty Codger as a one drop that will level up Swain because it does two to itself. You'll have Fortune Croaker dealing two damage also. Those level up Swain. Your Demolitionist dealing the one and then the two. So we'll have some different ways to level up Swain in this deck as well. Um, so yeah, let's <laughs> we got Double Boat deck. Yeah, that, that's what uh, this deck would be called. So Swain Plank, Double Boats. Uh, we're going to play the games in Ranked. We'll go ahead and I think that this deck and, and the next deck, I think they're good enough for Ranked. Here we go, double boats. Okay, Viego Thresh. Viego's a tough one to deal with. We'll see if our double boats can take down Viego. Um, let's maybe send all these back. We'll keep Fortune Croaker. Cool. I want a one drop to go along with the Fortune Croaker. Harpoon could shoot a Viego. That's a possibility that could happen. One out of five. Boom. One out of five. We got two of the same boat. We went different boats. Okay, well, not yet. <laughs> I don't mean we need all the boats yet. Why would they pass first? Why not just play this fading icon to begin with? I don't, fate, I, can see I don't really want to risk... Like, if I attack with both, they just block the 2-2, two -two, then I don't get to, like, do anything. I don't want to risk not being able to do anything. Awesome. Cool. So we'll have Sentry Flock combo. Or just pass round, I guess. They don't need riches. Okay, not withering well. That enables the harpoon. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Mm. I really want to save Harpoon for Viego. I am much more scared of Viego. So I'm going to wait till this round. So this round I can play the Mega Rain. Alright, we'll just stun this. Because this round I'll be able to play the Mega Rain uh, deal Nexus damage for Gangplank and for... Hmm. 
Kind of want to do damage to the soldier to flock the soldier. Where are you at? Nine? So make it rain levels up. That was a very bad play by me. Take the high ground. They are really, really patient. They must have a lot of same patience. Branchen, Stark looks for a man of influence. You chose wealth. I choose power. Yeah, that, that was a poor play by me. I wish I would have not done that at all. This will level up both champions. Be damage for Gangplank, damage for Swain. We'll level them both up. And then we got boats coming in next round. So that's Vengeance. They kind of need to Vengeance the Gangplank. If I would have just waited on the flock, that would have been nice to wait on that. All right, let's go ahead and attack with the Swain. We do have to block. Well... I guess blocking just helps their Thresh level up, doesn't it? Maybe it just pass. I don't really want their Thresh to level up. So the second Swain is Ravenous Flock for, for Thresh. Still play, you know, invasive hydrovine or uh, thrash, or uh, yeah, or threat, you know, or either champion. After these lookout strike, but their thrash is at four out of six, so trying to kill it before it levels up. Indecision is the first of many. Yeah, it's like kind of like Swain, Swain Spotlight Day. Yeah, Swain Day. We got two Swain donation decks that we're playing today. We tried some Riven Labs first before these, which is why like why are we only doing the two decks, but we tried some Riven Labs and they just did not work out. Unfortunately lost the Riven Labs. Single Pate card has been so good in this kind of deck with Viego that you just have these units with you know now Thrash, but Thrash, Viego, Hydrovine that are so important to keep alive. The Syncopates do a great job protecting them. Probably need to play more Karma Syncopate. Karma's kind of the same way. Heimer Karma Syncopate. Is it Syncopation? Okay, Syncopation. And the thing is, like, I have leveled up Gangplank that I could be attacking with. It just feels like I should open attack before, like, a Ruination could happen. Such little lies. So I'm not exactly sure their plan is staying alive. Doesn't look like they got one. Alright, so we will take the win. 1 0 oh for Swain Plank. Praise the Noctora! This deck looked good. Yeah, Leviathan plus Dreadway. More Viego. Probably do need to be worried a little bit about if the Shurima cards are nerfed and uh, if, if like Viego will take over the format. 
possibility. Viego Noxus. Yeah, Viego's a wonderful top end to an aggro deck. It's just a wonderful everything. Oh, you think that they're going to be a control deck? Gotta go with the flow. That's also a possibility. So by using the Death's Hand here on the House Spider, it means that next round this Mega Rain is going to connect with both Spiderlings. Hopefully get to flock that. May have to flock plus Death's Hand, but I hope not. Alright, very good. So Swain's already leveled. We'll save you, Death Hand. Hmm, no champions on my side. No champions. A lot of things are possible to kill. I guess not impossible. I guess we'll just have to use two cards. Damn, mind. It has been killed. Alright, looking for a champion or a boat? Champion or a boat? So we have ten champions plus boats in the deck. There's a boat. Yeah. So there's six champions, four boats. So yeah, after you know drawing a whole bunch of cards, you'd think that we'd have one of the ten. So basically half of the deck... You know, or 40% of the deck are champions plus votes. Alright, King Planks out 3 out of 5. If I open attack, they have to block Dreadway with Viego. <laughs> this does four to itself now. Okay, Krusty Codger plus Dreadway is not the best combo. With that being said, is it best to have, like, Sentry Stun Fearsome Blocker? No, it's probably just best to attack. I'm trying to think of it as better to get, like, Gangplank in first or anything. King. 
Okay, we're taking down a second Diego. So that's always good. Okay, need to do Nexus damage this round to level up the Gangplank. Remember the objective. The few for the okay, leveled up Gangplank. Gangplank can kill all these with the attack. Oh, I don't have the mana for another Gangplank, do I? Right, well, I, have, I have a better board than them, and I have an extra card. But if they have something like super powerful, like, you know, via, you know there's some really powerful top end Shadow Isles cards. But for now, we're looking good. We still have three Swain. Oh, now they get more cards. We still have three Swain, two, th three Swain, three boat, one gangplank. So seven out of nineteen. Basically, a third are good top end cards. That did not go well. That did not go well. Alright, 7 out of 18 are the top end. That's a very poor draw. I don't bite. You could use a Leviathan or a Swain. Leviathan. Come, stay a while. All right, they down to six. You started without me. Deploy. I don't know. That's ruination. It's kind of bad for, but I, I could have passed. Awesome. Wow. They didn't play anything. Wow. Well, that's great. They're down to three. What do they have? They didn't play anything. Well, I can pass, because obviously my Leviathan just kills them around starts. So I don't have to do anything. The rum with the Twitch Prime sub. So it's on them to like stop this Leviathan somehow. And then once they do, then I can try to Demolitionist and Death's Hand. Alright, I shall say no. So I'm drawing two. So young. So looks like that's what they probably had in hand was a bunch of those, those like Glimpse Beyond type cards. And Elisa's. Struggle. Now enjoy it. Okay, well, you want Leviathan to kill you or what? Bind them. Bind them. Alright, one card in hand. 
That will do. We are 2-0 oh with Swain Plank. We found that Leviathan. The Rum, thank you for that Twitch Prime sub. Two months now. With that support, you are a rock star. Thank you so much. Heimer Karma Vi. Hey, the Rome gifting out a sub, AVN. Awesome, hit our sub goal today. Yes. That means we'll play some bonus games. Maybe try lab try the lab again. Heimer Karma Vi. Mulligan, Mulligan. I mean, I could see keeping the Swain. Like, the Swain's gonna be kind of troublesome for them. But I'll send it back. Oh! Give me back that sentry now, please. Just, out of Just make it ring. I'll just pass. I should have played the Demolitionist. Because basically what I'm thinking, the reason I don't want to use Mega Rain because... Um, and I couldn't really block because I need need those things, but because Make It Rain is like my only way to enable these Ravenous Flocks. It just enables Mystic Shot really well. Now I have a second Make a Rain and a Death's Hand to enable the Flux. So I they usually have this as like, this is the champion there's three of, this is the one that there's two of, this is the one that there's one of. And so if that's the case, there's only one Vi. Vi is the champion that I do not want to see, right? Trying to kill Vi is a headache. Which I guess does... Death's Hand would do one... And then Flock would do three, so I guess Death's Hand plus Flock would kill it. That's still a headache. Like a fish in water. <laughs> we'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. We're not good at drawing our champs. We always just have to use our boats to find our champs. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. Let's see, they got no papayas, basically. Heimer can take a lot of cards. I'll go ahead and keep the my my third flock. Do the next life. Could be a card we kind of need. Save spell mana, even though I do have the ability to play the demolitionist right now. But the demolitionist, it wouldn't help my gangplank level up because the death hand already dealt next damage and we attacked. My past flashes. Ah! They're doing better card wise. I taste purple. Yay. If they don't break, they'll burn. Alright, four out of five for Gangplank. Mm. That is too bad.
Okay, so we still have nine champs and boats left. Let's do this. Nine champs and boats. So that's over a third of the deck. The order rewards its faithful. That takes one of them out. Looks like I'm ready. I will play my part. Routes closed. So we're down to eight. I can definitely have eight points of burn and kill me. Especially with karma. Say yo ho with the Twitch Prime sub. I'm not expecting them to be a big time burn deck though. So I'm not expecting that. Victory awaits. Fear the power you do not see. Alright, any recall or anything like that? Answers. I have them. Oh no, the Hexite Crystal. Oh, those are always devastating. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. It's smaller than the diagram. Trying to heal Heimer. Okay, cool. Get on in there. No more Hexite Crystal, just three cards. Good, 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 good. So right now they're just just got one blocker. Well, they can find, you know, Concussive Palms, Will of Ionias, all that kind of stuff. First and foremost, they have to stop Swain. A Twin Disciplines would allow them to block with a plus three, plus zero. Okay, can't do it. Swain Plank, three and oh. Remember this day. The deck already has a good amount of card advantage, even without Whisper Words. Like you have your spray fins and the the two drops that are drawing the cards, and then you also have the boats at the top end. So you're just going to want to like keep playing stuff all the time. You just don't want to spend mana on Whisper Words. Yeah, because you got four boats, so you just don't need them. We have seen with. Uh, like, we, we just keep playing against slow decks also, and, like, these are the matchups that you want Whisper Words in, in these slow matches, we've seen that we have been undefeated so far. I'm not as confident in this game. But, yeah, we've played against Viego Thresh, and then, like, what, Viego, Viego Thresh, Viego Elise, uh, Heimer, Karma, and now another Viego deck. So this game is a little different from the others in the respect of now we are drawing all of our uh, big heavy top end in this game. Trails. 
All right, so they have a second Hydra Vine in hand because they hit with the Green Glade Lookout twice, and there's only one minus one cost on this Lookout, so they got another Hydra Vine. That's not great, having two Hydra Vines. That's not great for me. I still got to kill them. But that's not great for me that there's another one. And, of course... They can have Syncopation or Twin Disciplines, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think Viego's probably better than Lurkers. But it also kind of kind of depends on your playstyle. The question is, like, what's better, Viego or Lurkers for ranked? Kind of depends on your playstyle, what you like playing. For myself, I would choose Viego over Lurkers. Second Hydrovine. All right, sorry about that. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Okay, we're back. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with doing that. It's three for Thresh. Oh, that's four for Thresh. This is about to be five. That's gross. Okay, yeah. The Viego donation deck that I have in here, play that on Tuesday. Absolutely. I can do that. Okay, wrote that down, Tuesday. Destination in sight. A ship good enough to be mine. Really need this to work. Really need no vengeances over there. Seems like the Viego decks always have plenty of vengeances. But gotta hope they don't have it. Okay. That probably means no vengeance. Probably. I was wondering if I should like it. No, I probably shouldn't attack now. No, 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 no. Kind of see attacking. What? Why did it stun this four four? Oh, because then it turns into a five five. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, I mean, I guess my last words are I wish I would have stunned you. Cut my name into you. Yeah, Flock does eight now, but I can't kill stuff because if I kill stuff, then Viego levels up, and so I can't I can't kill anything. If I kill anything, Viego levels up, kills all my stuff. Like this is gonna be basically impossible to win. Indecision is the first of many. It just had a great hand of double Hydravine and then you know leveling up the Thresh, like you know Thresh on five, Hydravine on six, Hydravine on seven, and then Viego on eight, and can putting another you know like this has just been a great hand. That means the only way I can possibly win, which is very unlikely, now this Viego is going to level up. So the only way I can possibly win is if this hits Viego. Okay, it's going to. And then also Flock kill the Viego, and they, they have to have nothing. Okay, well they don't have nothing. So, let's see. Is that 
Round start, steal. There's plenty of killing left. Round start steals Leviathan, but I guess Leviathan should happen on my side first, right? Because I'm the active player. So I still get the three damage. Yeah, and then stun, 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 and then steal Leviathan. It's my best idea that I have. Who are you? And who knows, maybe Mega Rain kills these things also. What are you? Yeah, they could have just replaced my Leviathan instead of replacing that thing they replaced. With the Faith Folk. We may have this. Like, if they can't kill the Streadway, maybe we have this. Okay, so that stuns that. Puts them to two. Okay. Make it rain time. We need to hit either the Nexus or a Faith Folk. That's it. Just a Nexus or a Faith Folk. Yes, both Nexus and Faithful. There we go! Wow! Can't believe we beat Double Viego. Double Viego level up and everything. They did mess up a few. Yeah, they they did mess up a few things. First, um, so a couple of things they messed up. First, of course, like they could have replaced my Leviathan, but really the biggest thing to level up their Viego, they. Uh, use the Glimpse Beyond and sacrifice their Viego to level it up. However, if they would have just sacrificed, like, the... Like, what they really should have done was sacrifice, like, the Hydravine. Keep... Because they could have just kept both Viegos. Um, and if... With two level up Viegos, like, how, you know, they steal two things. Like, they steal the Dreadway and... <laughs> uh, the Leviathan. Like, that's... Okay, Thresh may not have been enough. No, I think it probably was. Because they had, like... Yeah, I think it was enough because they they would have had three of the 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 things that the ephemeral things that die at the end of the round. So I think even sacrificing Thresh would have leveled up both Viegos. I think they could have kept Hydravine and both and have two level up Viegos. I think. Yeah, so I guess it would have taken Swain, right? Yeah, so it would not not Dreadway Swain. So they would have taken both Swain and Leviathan. Yeah, the stun would still happen first, like what we saw there. But basically, so they we kind of talked about so they could sacrifice the Thresh, not even the not even the Hydravine. They could could have sacrificed the Thresh. The stun still happens at the beginning, but then they take Swain and Leviathan, and so therefore taking the Swain means that I I can't do like my demolitionist stun another blocker, right? And then they have they get they get two extra blockers that that aren't stunned, and I can't stun anything else, and we lose that game. Okay, we got Swain, Twisted Fate, basically a mirror match for the final boss. Well, Mulligan, Dreadway, I shall keep Sentry. Four and zero. We'll see if we can finish it out for the five zero. Another control deck, though. We are five for five playing against control decks. Every single match has been versus control. I guess everybody's playing control and ranked these days. Pass. Yes. Hit him. Hit him. Yes. Let's go. He started without me. 
All right, very nice. Now with Fortune Croaker, because, yeah, because of, like, Make It Rain and stuff, I kind of don't want to Fortune Croaker the Krusty Codger is what I was going to say. Okay. Now, actually, I probably should just have just done the Cr Krusty Codger right now, because more Mega Rain's red cards are just going to die. Uh, this has not, not been good drawing on our side, just having a whole bunch of Mega Rain's. I... Man, it just dies anyway. This has worked out really well for them. I should have just killed my own Krusty Codger and kept that thing at 3-2. That was a mistake. Man, I have nothing. We are drawing poorly. Feel me in. All that glitters. We are drawing poorly. Looks like trouble. Sure does. All right, so they have the two fleeting cards, and so I'm going to put pressure on them to like cast those cards. Right, like I'm not going to put anything else out here that gives them better removal. Swain, really? So they're going to play the other card. Wow, the other one was a Twisted Fate. So they hit Swain and Twisted Fate were their two cards? Um, wait, where are you to leveling up? So you're about to be five, you're probably fine. So I have to play the Sentry to block. But I'm going to prefer to do this Make It Rain. Oh, that's... I'll just do it. I want to do it next round, you know, for Gangplank level up, but that's probably too greedy, because then they play like a... A Dreadway deck hand, and then my Mega Rain doesn't hit what it needs to hit, and all that kind of stuff. That's just too greedy. I should just kill that Twisted Fate. Okay, that levels up Swain. So yeah, they'll have... Yeah, they, they have Whisper Wards, but we have more boats than they do. And we have... More expensive champions, but... They've drawn four champions, and I've drawn zero. And they've already played four champions, and we've played zero. Actually, wait, no, they played five champions. That was a Swain's Ravenous Flock. So yeah, they've played five champions. We have played zero. That's probably advantage them. Such little lies. Oh, they have the nab cards. The nab, nab's a problem for the mirror match here, because I have I have awesome stuff to nab, obviously. Yeah, there's nab to fortune croaker. Okay, that's that's gonna be the difference in this game, most likely. Unless we find some boats. We're gonna need to find some boats. But it looks like we're done. They've they've had nab and five champions. Wow. After the back of the Yeah, they've always they've always had black marker merchant. They've always had them. Almost half of our deck are champions or boats, you know, left. We have 10 of those out of 40 cards. <laughs> 10 out of 40 cards. So 25% of our deck, and so far we've drawn 16 cards, and we've missed every single one of those. But it's alright, we can't complain about a 4-1-1. One, one. 
Nothing wrong with a 4-1. If we ever find our champions, they will both be leveled up. That is looking doubtful. I just like that they're not playing a boat right here, so that's why I kind of want to pass. You know, this would cost seven mana to play next round. But they're not adding on other stuff to the board. It costs nine mana, sorry, to play next round. Finally, our first champion. Like they probably have more stun spiders. Hey, I talk to spirits. These are my rules. If they don't break, they'll burn. Hey, Yix. Okay, a lot of ravenous flocks out of their hand. Eyes open. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So they're at seven champions so far. And here's my first one. I am reborn of salt and pride. They should have another stun spider, but you never know. Maybe not. Ooh, maybe not. For another stun spider. Uh, don't want to trade Demolitionist for Fortune Croaker. Not particularly. Got the attack in though. It's a nice attack. We took two removal spells and got attack in. Come on, a boat. All right, we got a Swain at least. Routes closed. Thirty-seven out of twelve. I hope they haven't taken my boats. Well, oh man, pill for goods also. They have to be taking boats by now, right? You weren't using it. Gross. They have to. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't have other things left in my deck. That's all we have left. GG's, Nab. It takes my own deck to defeat us. That's the only way we can lose, is to our own cards. That was my card. You weren't I'm using it. I wanted to use that Leviathan. All right, so really poor draws there that last game. These 10 cards just did not show up. So that, you know, what are you going to do? That's going to happen. But anyway, um, so, you know, lost that mirror match where they cast seven champions before I cast my first champion. No, like seven. That's pretty crazy. Anyway, um, four and one. Pretty awesome record, and can't complain about that. You know, not even playing like nav and stuff, but still doing really good against control decks. You know, we still 
were very you know still went four uh and oh before that last one even without having to play like pilfer goods and whisper words and anything like that because you can just keep affecting the board keep affecting the board use spray fin use fortune croaker to draw some extra cards and then these boats really did a great job of finishing out the game so good good wins over viego a couple of times um yeah good 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 wins good deck so that's going to be it here for swain plank those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments about the deck hopefully y'all enjoyed it let me know uh love to see those comments but that's going to be it here for this one so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video